Surface Tracker is absolutely amazing in DaVinci Resolve and you can do magic and stick any picture or text on top of your video and actually make it look realistic. It's like it's been painted there. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you how it's done in this video. Let's go. So once you have your clip in the timeline, you have to go to the color page over here, click on the color page and you will have this image over here. You have the color node here. And what we have to do, we have to go to effects on the right top corner, go and toggle effects on if it's not and go to search and search for surface tracker. Here it is, is this one over here, surface tracker. Just drag it and make sure it's in between these line, just like this. Put it there and you see, it's just in between. Make sure it's in between. Okay, let me quickly explain what you can see here on the right. So, bounce. This is where it shows us where we want to introduce or to put our image in between what limits. So, we will have to show DaVinci Resolve the boundaries. Okay, so I'm going to create four points just like this. Here we are. Okay. And next, what we need to do, we need to go and show DaVinci Resolve the mesh, okay? And then here straight away, DaVinci Resolve just created some points, some tracking points, okay? Uh, if you're gonna add more tracking points, just go here, point numbers limits, and you can increase it. But in straight away, DaVinci Resolve, it's sort of like it works. Most of the time it works. If it doesn't, just go back and you'll, you can create even more. And here you have the minimum point spacing. I mean, it really, it depends on the material of the tracking, of the tracking surface. You know, it's not gonna track on reflective surfaces or, you know, any plane surfaces. So make sure the surface has some rigidity to it and some contrast like this roof over here. I think it looks fine, but we'll see. Okay, next you have to go to track, okay, straight away go to quality and change faster to better. So DaVinci Resolve is going to track to a better quality and is going to make a better job. Otherwise, it's not always working fine, so make sure it's, it's better. But you know, if it doesn't, always go back. Let me quickly explain what these arrows are here. So here we see, because our reference frame is in the middle now i have to track reverse and then i have to track forward but there is an icon over here track forward and then reverse so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna track forward and then reverse and just click over here okay davinci resolve is going to take some time you see it shows me one minute and 30 seconds it depends on the duration of the clip it depends on how powerful your computer is but you know roughly five three minutes it's fine so tracking is done now i'm gonna go and grab my png file here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and connect the green to the green okay and the alpha channel to the alpha channel to the blue here just make sure you do this okay i'm gonna go to the surface tracker here on this node of here i'm gonna go to result and what we have to do here, you have to go to reference, go to reference frame over here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna change this positioning to interactive canvas to sliders, okay? So we can easily change position, zoom, rotate, width, height, and all these features here for our picture. So we're gonna change the zoom first of all, just to make the picture. Okay, I'm gonna do the position, okay, the width, I'm gonna leave there, position, okay, position on the X, and then position on the Y, I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right, just there, looks good, maybe it's a little bit higher, just like this, okay, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I like it and then you can see it looks very realistic it doesn't look really good but for this we need to go the last step is to go and change the compositing mode so go here to compositing and change the compositing mode from normal to overlay just find overlay here click on it and you can see 
it looks so so realistic and then now if i play the clip look what's happening and then one more thing where we can do we can actually change the opacity a little bit so it actually it actually looks like it's been faded away by the weather and here we are and let's watch from the beginning And that's it for today. Thanks so much, friends. I really appreciate you being here and watching my videos. And if you did find this video interesting and useful, then please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. And it motivates me to create even better and more videos just like this. And if you want, you can buy me a coffee. I love coffee. No, no more than two a day. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.